Mission 4 awaits us. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's try to use Waz the scroll there like a fool. This is going to be our entrance both for the helipad and for folks coming in from the street. We'll want to leave some room in so that folks can walk in. Place happy, friendly windows. With our chair there. Radiator plant. No, not two plants. Let's not go. Let's not be hasty here. Radiator can be here next to the doctor. Plant can be there. And a bin can be there. Yes, I'm aware of my need for handymen. You call me your tits. We'll build the second general practitioner's office right there. With a chair tucked in there. Radiator, plant, and bin. Radiator can go next to the doctor. Handyman, handyman's gonna have to walk a bit for this plant. Get over it, handyman. Great. Receptionist desk will be located here to welcome customers, <laughs> patrons, <laughs> what have you. Okay. I want a pharmacy tucked into here. Uh, maybe not that. I'm actually going to put a toilet in there. I guess? No. Pharmacy is more valuable than the toilet. They'll just have to walk a bit further. They want to go to the restroom. Having something like the pharmacy closer to the entrance is more valuable than the toilet being closer to the entrance. I'm a monster. Plant, radiator, no bin, but we'll put a fire extinguisher in here for funsies. A plant there? Good. Now we can put our toilet in. Super convenient, as all toilets should be. There we go. Uh, I'll put in another toilet and a sink. Yeah. Radiator plant. Bin? No bin. No plant, but bin. There we go. And finally, we'll tuck an inflation clinic in here the moment that we see someone with bloody head come in. Next up, I want to build a ward. Three, four, five, six. And have it positioned like that. At least enough room for, you know, someone behind the receptionist desk to come out and party without feeling like they're trapped. Because I care about them ever so much. <laughs> Never mind that receptionists in this game don't take breaks. Okay, let's go ahead and buy an extra two beds. I care about placing those first and foremost. Great. Desk goes there. I fit a plant in here? I can. Good. Good. Great. Fantastic. Next thing I want is a psychiatric facility, in case there is an emergency that requires that. I'll place that there, allowing uh, two tile walkways between these structures. I will place the door out here at the front, though. Well, I'll consider this the front, because that's a three-tile thoroughfare. Okay. Ah, uh, actually, let's modify that. We'll still slap those windows down, though. Slap shot them. Pow, 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 pow. Couch. You go there. Screen. You go there. Comfortable chair. Eh. You can go there. No real room for a plant in here without, uh... 
handy man having to walk a bit further. Again, you'll just have to get over it. No one cares about the handyman's feelings. It is a tragedy of being a handyman. There we go. Beautiful. Pristine. Uh, and the final thing I can build is a general diagnosis room. I'm not obliged to build that right now, though. I can save some money by not building it right now. Until someone needs further diagnosis. Still, I'll go ahead and place it down. I'm feeling benevolent. Like the bank that's robbed in Payday 2. There we go. Fire extinguisher, radiator, and... Uh, guess that. Fire extinguisher, radiator, and a plant. Let's go ahead and move this screen one over so that we can place the plant there. There we go. Beautiful. And we can leave this room for, like, little clinics that pop up. Uh, I don't plan on placing an operating theater yet. Should anyone come in who needs surgery, we'll check them into the research department. I'm a monster. We'll buy that building over there. I want to build a training room. Training rooms are used to raise the skill levels of non-consultant doctors. Consultants train in the training room. If the consultants have any specializations, they pass those on to uh, the folks in the training room. Um, if there's enough time for those doctors to pick up all those specializations. Uh, doctors that you train on your own are cheaper than ones you pick up off the medical street. <laughs> there we go. Leave enough room for a comfortable enough walkway. Training there. Please, a shit ton of windows. Projector will... Let's do a bit like this instead. Projector goes there. Lecture chair right up in front. So uncomfortably located that uh, the person sitting in it won't really be able to read what's going on. Because I'm crazy like that. Plant and a radiator. There's two more lecture chairs. We'll place the radiator there. Bookcases. Just in case any study material is required. And we'll place a skeleton. Hell, I'll even stuff in an extra bookcase. For free. It wasn't free, it cost money. There we go. Now I want a... staff room so that everyone can relax and feel happy and comfortable. Because I care ever so much about them. There we go. Let's place another sofa down. There. Can I tuck the radiator in here in the back? Beautiful. Stuff a TV there. Stuff it. It's got room. And we should have a pool table. We'll place another sofa over here. And we'll give that another TV. Finally, we'll place a plant there at the entrance for a handyman to water. Don't have to go too far. Great. And then a very large research department. Obscenely large. Won't have to be this large because I'm not going to put this many people into research. Could have enlarged the staff room. Here we are. Won't have any windows, though. I could make it smaller than stuff a bunch of windows around it. Hmm. Seems bizarre. Auto autopsy goes there. 
there. Desk, filing cabinet, desk, filing cabinet. We can have three researchers in this crazy sized room. Let's buy a plant. Or two. And we get a radiator. And who knows, auto autopsy might break. I don't think it can break. Fire extinguisher. Perfect. Now we've burned through tons of money. It's time for us to lose all of our good fortune. Your trash. I will hire you. You can go sit in here. I will hire you to waddle around for the time being. And you're a researcher, huh? All right, you can go ahead and get to work. Actually, since you're technically a researcher right now, too, you can get to work as well. What do I care most about research right now? Not diagnosis equipment. Let's go ahead and do this. Screw diagnosis equipment. They need further help diagnosis, we'll stuff them into this. <laughs> the auto autopsy. And a handyman? Yeah. Now, a receptionist. There's just gotta be one better than that. I'm actually not going to open up the facility this month. I know, right? What the hell? What do you mean you're not going to open up the facility this month? We'll see what uh, better folks pop up for us in month two, February. Of course, we'll have to pay expenses for the people we already have. All right, I can accept this nurse. Receptionist. Sly, cutting, and subversive. What the hell? Hmm. That's rather unfortunate for Dr. Hires. Yuck. and hire you as well. We'll wait until March. Patient message. Credit cards required. Okay. Drinks machine. We can stuff that here. Yeah, we can place the Kit Kat machine right there. Place a plant there. Put a radiator there. Along with another plant. Doctor required in GPs. Staff do not leave their rooms. We'll see who we get in March. He can wait. Okay. doesn't go into the GP's room. Instead, the consultant is going to train this researcher, surgeon, psychiatrist to be a consultant himself. Kind of just need, it kind of leaves us needing to hire a doctor or two. I'll wait to hire you. Let's go ahead and just set this queue up to zero.
Is he off to the ward? He's off to the ward. Okay. We're gonna be losing money for quite some time. Just like we did with the last one, that's okay. Over here, the training room is hard at work teaching this researcher, surgeon, psychiatrist how to be a consultant so that this guy can sit in the training room and teach folks how to be a researcher, surgeon, and psychiatrist. <laughs> and then we'll, that'll free up this consultant to just uh, staff the GP office. Maybe I should hire that psychiatrist. Patients to the patient. Just in case. That looks like he's gone. Waited too long. One of the one of the competition picked him up. I'm presuming that's what happened. Curse you competition. Worst case, I do have a psychiatrist who's being trained up. Okay. I hope you can hear my my lack of enthusiasm right now. <laughs> like, ugh. <laughs> You're someone. <laughs> I could just technically have you train up until you're needed. But I don't think me removing you from the training room will be a good idea. I don't remember the full nuances of, like, what happens if you remove someone from the training room. I think it's fine. Before their time is up. And these guys will go to the staff room as they get tired. I'm not even sure I could check on his progress. Beats me. Slicer's been enhanced. Good, I'm glad the Slicer's enhanced. Now, because our our guy manning the uh, the GP office here isn't that great, people are going are having to go get further diagnosis. Which, on the bright side, is getting me more money, right? But also isn't the most efficient way to get these folks treated. Today's special offer, half-price hair replacement. Half-price hair replacement, great. Okay, let's take a look at doctors. I'm a bit skittish on hiring more doctors right now for training purposes, just because of the current situation involving finances. It does only leave me with one researcher and all these drooping plants. Spend so much on handymen to maintain all these damn plants. Maybe I shouldn't have bought so many right now, you know? Oh well, it happens. Doctor required in general diagnosis. <laughs> that happened. There's plenty of seating, so that's not a problem. It's good. Nope. The king. He's here. Ready to grace us with his presence. Uh, you've, you've queued for general diagnosis? Oh. Well, I didn't pay attention there, did I? Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Too many doctors, so of them are currently unoccupied? Go to hell. Oh. Let's take a chance at the possible cure. What are you so ha unhappy about, guy? 
Is it because you're not researching? Actually, this researcher here, who is incredibly upset about life. Let's go ahead and have you take a break. I thought I set this down, but I guess not. That's gonna end up suddenly giving all my staff, like, breaks. Like, oh yeah, take a break. Nurse required in pharmacy. Uncommon cold. Nurse required in thar pharmacy. I can quickly tag out nurses here. Alright, let's take a look at who we can hire for June. You take a break, too. For now. Nurse required in ward. Nurse required in ward. That's reasonable enough, I suppose. I can appreciate that. I could hire a third nurse, or people can just have hold their hold their tits. What's up? Kidney beads, research department. Okay, yeah, you go ahead and stuff yourself in training. Warm up the projector. You should head back to training when the time is right and the stars have aligned. You do not walk that fast. Unlike some of these handymen who are on speed. Yeah, I can handle that. I'm gonna start looking for a better... You... your services are no longer required. Like, why? What do you mean my services are no longer required? You are the new receptionist. Same as the old receptionist. Rather jaded and warped when you think about it. Yeah, you need to take a break. I'll go ahead and spirit you away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hey. 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 I know he you want to train, but damn it, you gotta research. Patient message: checkbooks required. Staff announcement: patients with the scripts are on the way. Jerk! He's like, no, I want to research, man. My fleet of handymen. <laughs> Moving across the galaxy, as they should. Too many doctors. I do not have too many doctors. Okay. You are the crummiest. You will be sacked. Spare ribs? Research! Mayor of Greater Trumpton. Spare ribs! Research. Now we're looking here for doctors. Okay, it's fine. Spare ribs! Research! <laughs> We've got the reputation to spare. Candy beads, research.
Damn. They discovered it. My reputation spent down to 500. My secrets. My secrets. At least the operating table, when I finally build it, will be great. Doctor required in GP's office. That's not a lie. The psychiatrist needs a break. I'll go ahead and take care of that. You're welcome. Once this once this guy trains up to be a consultant, I'll have him train someone else, and this consultant without any skills can man an office. Doctor required in general diagnosis, huh? You're there. You're there. You're resting. You're there. You're teaching. Wait. Oh, you're the one manning the office there. I'm like, burr? <laughs> Angles, a slightly toxic blend of herbs and spices is drunk to straighten out the ankles. Driving over traffic, calming measures and road. Shame. Shame. When we need to build that tongue slicer, we'll have the damn greatest tongue slicer. Of that, there is no doubt. Alright, psychiatrist. Come with me. Your hipster planet needs you. Away. Oh wait. They're queuing for the G GP office. Eh, we'll take a chance. Which means he's not actually needed, because they're queuing for G well he is for the King Complex. Yeah, these folks are queuing for GP. And uh he doesn't go that fast. Okay, we have our first slack tongue. Although I don't know if they'll actually figure out what the hell it is. This is why you want a more competent and capable doctor uh, handling the I'm GP's office. Because he's, uh, he's far behind. I suppose we could actually set this up to have a queue and stuff another doctor in there. Let's wait until the end of the month. Someone died. <clears throat> It's fine. It's fine. There we go. We can man two GP offices. Although these folks have all queued up for this one. You can do it. I believe in you. Nope. Oh, what's this? I don't really have the money to splurge on another diagnosis facility. Although that may have been the slack tongue. You know, the one I built the clinic for, but we couldn't figure out what was wrong. Jeez. 
just shaking my head in dismay. I suppose we're going to have to, uh... work on that diagnosis equipment after all. Spread it across the board. My I error. Please keep your germs to yourself. Keep your germs to yourself. Thank you. This is a reasonable moment to end the episode on. We're, uh, we're hanging in there as far as value is concerned, but we've got a while to go yet value and money, but remember, we have to treat enough patients and also have a good reputation. That good reputation's hanging in there, so long as we don't end up sending anyone else to the, uh, <laughs> the auto-autopsy. Take care.